what's up everybody on a recent video Eric Olson asked a question that and he asked uh, if I could make a video on how I mix my calc washer so Eric um, here's your video first thing I use bulk reef supply calc washer um, it's part of a starter kit that you can purchase right off the site the link of which is down in the bottom uh, also the article where I learned pretty much and researched how to do this is also linked in the bottom if anybody wants to take a look at it. The reason I use bulk resupply is because I, the product to me is trustworthy. It's a lab grade calc washer and for the money it's the best one I can use. I dose vinegar in my calc solution and it's just this is just five percent distilled white vinegar that you buy from the store. They recommend that you start off with 15 milliliters per gallon so that would come out to on a five gallon um, jug that would come out to 75 gallons I have gone up since then to 80 milliliters and you could read more about how to increase the t the amount of vinegar you use in that article so first the precautions on calc washer are it's a caustic substance, a caustic powder, so you want to make sure you don't get it in your eyes. Breathe it in or get it on your skin, especially if you have open cuts. Um, I tend not to worry about my hands as much, but I do take precautions as far as breathing it in and my eyes. So it's also recommended by Bulk Reef, you can see the video on the website, that you can dose anywhere up to two teaspoons per gallon of calc solution um, it, and it all depends on the demand of your tank okay if you're a, if you have a lightly stocked tank as far as corals are concerned then your demand on your calcium and your alkalinity is not as high so you may want to cut it down uh, my system is not that stock so what I do is I use half a teaspoon per gallon um, that's where I, my start off point was and through testing I found that my perfect spot right now with the amount of corals and the demand that I have is three teaspoons on a five gallon jug the biggest part of this is testing you need to test I test pretty much every weekend just to make sure that your levels are even and stay constant um, this is the way you learn how much calc washer you should use and that's if your levels are too high then you know to cut back if they're too low then you need to, need to add a little bit if they stay constant then you know you're on the right spot I've dosed two part and I've dosed calc washer and this to me is by far the easiest for me uh, again all these opinions are based on what works in my system it may not be what works for you but it's just where I am and, and what I do to maintain calcium, alkalinity, and pH in my tank. Um, so let's get into this. What I do is straightforward. I just take teaspoons, half teaspoons at a time, well actually teaspoons at a time, and I'm going to mix three teaspoons in here okay I'm also going to add my white vinegar I usually add the white vinegar first and then I'm going to give this a stir now while I'm stirring this again I can't stress more that the biggest part of this is testing uh, test your parameters I test everything every Saturday um, usually in the morning and I'll tell test my calcium my alkalinity my magnesium phosphate uh, my pH my all my parameters get tested out so this way it lets me know whether my demand is either getting higher or it's staying the same okay now that's pretty much all incorporated so what I do now is I have a 
five gallon jug here and in the kit you get a funnel so I'm going to add this very carefully as much as I could do with one hand okay now I pre-measured this jug out so I know what my five gallons is this is where I've held off and I've reserved some extra water out of the tank out of the jug rather sorry and I'm gonna put that in here and just give it a quick stir basically what I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning off my utensils and my cup so this way nothing's on it and now I'll put that in to the jug as well okay now once that's done I'll cap it and I'll put it to the side where my top of water is and I'll show you how I dose it now here is a jug that I made up earlier it's connected with a tube that I have going almost to the bottom of the container. I don't put it at the bottom of the container just in case there's some precipitate that is on the bottom and that I don't leach that, I don't dose that into my tank. It comes up, it connects with a flex tubing which is connected to an aqua lifter pump. From there, as you can see, it comes into the back of my cabinet and is dosed into the return pump section of my sump. Sorry about the condition of my sump, but I haven't cleaned it. And that gets dosed up into the tank. Now, whether to dose it or not to dose it, again, is through testing. And I found ever since I started using it, and especially since I started mixing the vinegar in, it's given, the vinegar gives you a source of carbon dosing. And immediately within a week after I started dosing this, my nitrates and phosphates started to go down. They've leveled off since then. And <clears throat> I haven't had to increase it yet. But as I stock the tank with more coral, I guarantee that my dosing amounts will change. So that's it for Calc Wasser for me. Eric, I hope this answered your question. Please like and subscribe to the video and I'll talk to you soon.